What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield. In today's video, we're hopping back onto the Ranked Double Ladder with the Belly Drum SQ teams. Guys, if you've been watching the channel for a little bit, you guys know I have not played a Belly Drum SQ team, so this is actually pretty awesome. So if you guys are hyped for today's video, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Like I said, on this team, we got Belly Drum Ice Cube. Ice Cube, I call him. It's SQ. Belly Drum SQ over here, rocking Icicle Crash for Stab, Liquidation for Cover, Belly Drum to boost that attack and protect just to protect. Holding that Citrus Berry to give him a little bit more HP. And he also has that Ice Base, so physical attackers do not stand a chance in the hail. We also got Nine Tails to set up that hail with Freeze Dry, Ice Shard, Roar Bell, and Protect that hail. It's going to work so good with SQ as he can keep regenerating Ice Base. We got that Indeedy with that Psychic Surge. We got the Corviknight to actually work well with that to boost its special defense with those Psychic Seeds. Then we can eventually bulk up and kind of be like a bulky. Corviknight right here. As you guys saw a couple videos ago, ago we had a Corviknight eat up a plus six shadow sneak to win the match. So you guys know Corviknight is a bulky little mon. And then with our two attackers in the back end, it's going to be this Light Orb Rotom. We can just Dynamax him, get going, or we can take the Weakness Policy Sap Sipper Gudra. Just eat up a shot and get rolling from there. Guys, if you want to use this team for yourself, rent the code is at the bottom of the screen. And let me know if you guys ever used an SQ team before, because I know it was like pretty big back in like season one but i just never got my hands on it. so this is now it's my time we're gonna be using it so let me know in the comment section down below if you guys ever use one but guys without further ado let's hop onto the rank double ladder and try to get some wins with this belly drum sq team like i was saying guys belly drum was actually huge in season one and it was so tough to counter considering nobody really knew what it was or really knew what it did but like I said, guys, Belly Drum was so big in Season 1, and it was so tough to play against, considering there was a lot of new players who didn't really know what it did. But now, we're sitting in Season 3, and a lot of people know how to counter, so it's not that big of a deal. But we're going to try to get some wins with this team right here. We're hopping into battle number 1. He has a Sun team, which is kind of tough for me. He has that Torkoal. Torkoal is going to set the, set the what's it called last. And who might he go into? Do I try to set up the Belly Drum? Do I try to set up the Belly Drum? I mean, he doesn't have any Trick Room users, which is fine by me. He does not have any Trick Room users. Hmm. But I think that Torkoal might come in here turn one. To be honest with you guys. To be honest with you guys. I'm still going to go... Mm, do I go with this lead? I mean, he would just swap into... Uh, what's it called? Which is totally fine by me. And I can get a Belly Drum in. And I can... But no, he might lead Charizard. If he goes in Charizard, like, that's just... That just eats me up. So this might not even... SQ might not even be the good. I'm going to withdraw. We're going to withdraw you. I'm going to go... Mm, I'm going to go in DD And I think Corviknight to lead. I think that's a safe lead. And then bring Rotom and Gudra in the back end as double attackers. And we keep the ice, we keep the ice out of here. We just get the ice out of here for right now. Like, I want to show it off, but I was just like, dude, if he leads Charizard or Torkoal, that'll hit right through my ice face and it's just be game over. It's, there's really no point. He just goes for an eruption or a heat wave. And then there's like a double kill, free double kill, and he wins the match. But guys, you want to catch more content from me, you guys already know the deal. Head on the link in the description below. Jeans25 on Twitch. We push rank ladder. We do viewer battles. And we've been playing a lot of Animal Crossing over there. So come hang out. And you guys can join my island as well. It's all that good stuff. But there he goes. He does lead that boy. He leads the Charizard. The Charizard. Um, I'm going to just go for... No, he might go for a heat wave. So that's kind of scary. Um, How should I play this one? Do I swap? Do I go for a swap? There goes my Psychic Seeds. With my special defense bulking up. Which is wonderful. Which is wonderful. Just dandy. So follow me is really not to play. I say I just heal pulse over on the Corviknight. And then I could bulk up or... Hmm. How really do I want to play this one? Give me a sec. Give me a sec. Let's see. Um, we have Safeguard. We got all that. We have Heal Pulse. I could go for a uh, Heal Pulse and Roost. Oh, not Roost. Heal Pulse and uh, Bulk Up. That's just defense. This thing's special attacking. I mean, he's very special attacking all around. So I'm just going to actually go for this. And I think I'm going to drop a nice little Iron Head. Over there. Nice little Iron Head. As much as I want to bulk up, I'm just going to go for an Iron Head. Let's see what happens here. I kind of want to get my Rotom out here. He does withdraw the NDD. That's totally fine. He's going to get the Torkoal up in here. Whatever. Whatever. And he's going to Dynamax, right? He's got a Dynamax here and take out my boy in one shot. I should have went for the follow me. You hunk a jump. Oh, he does not. He goes straight for the heat wave. This, this is why I didn't go for that follow me. Good for me. And oh my lord. Jeez. Dude just punked on me for no reason. The dude legit just punked on me for absolutely no reason. This thing loses HP. A, a guava berry pokes out here. So, I think I gotta get Rotom up in here. Or do I just go Gudra? Hmm, let's see. Here goes my psychic. Boop. Do some nice damage over there. Not bad. Solar power is going to take him down a little bit more. So we might not even see a Dynamax coming out from that thing. Might not even see a Dynamax coming out. 
I think he might just go for a Heat Wave. So I'm thinking about going either Rotom or uh, Udra. I'm thinking about just going Rotom here. If he Dynamax, do I swap? Do I just swap here? Do I play a swap card and just take out the Charizard or do I Dynamax? Because he can go for a, a Solar Power. He could go for a Solar Power. Do I play the swap card? Right? I'm thinking about playing the swap card here. And then just taking out the Charizard. Let's see, let's see. Let's do it, let's do it. I'm, I'm gonna make a read here. I'm gonna make a read here. I'm gonna go into Sap Sipper Gudra. I'm gonna say he goes for a Solar Beam and try to just knock me out in one turn. And then we can just take out. And then he still might pick up a double kill. We'll see, we'll see. Solar Beam. Boom, let's go. The reeds, baby. The reeds coming in here. The reeds, yo. Give me that Sap Sipper. Give it up. Give it up. The reeds. The reeds. We can say bye bye to the Charizard. We're gonna go next. Bang, Charizard out of here. Get him gone. Get him gone, kid. This one's a tough matchup for us. Brooklyn's gonna come out here with a big old eruption. And that's scary. Like, Sap Sipper was cool. Oh, I guess for a Heat Wave instead. But still. It's totally fine with me. My what's called Eats Up. And now I can get my Rotom up in here. And Dynamax. And we'll off from there. Because we got this uh, speed. Unless the what's called comes in here. You know whom. If the you know who comes out here. But I have Fire Blast on this thing. Bro, I can just tank up on that. I can go into a Max Guard. What does this fool want? What does he want? The big old Reeds. He probably has Venusaur in the back end. If I had to guess, if I had to guess. Then I just go into a Fire Blast. And, like, the Fire moves don't really do too, too much. And he might have, uh... Hmm. Is he Charcoal? Choice Spec? Like, what do we think he is? I don't even know. I don't know. But that was a big read by me. That was actually a big read by me for him to go into that Solar Power. Because we would have been dead. Does he go Venusaur? He does not go Venusaur. Which is totally fine. And we both saw our Dynamax. That's, that's the thing. So, what would my best call be? The Dynamax is, yeah, for sure. Go in here, Life Orb, shot on that. I mean, what other Pokemon does he have? The Venusaur has the... Okay, I mean, I think he brought the Venusaur, to be honest. I think he brought the Venusaur, right? Or no, wasn't it Indeedee? Yeah, it was Indeedee. Okay. Hello. So, he has the Indeedee, so that's pretty big. I could protect, I could drink a Meteor, or I could drop a Sledge Bomb. I mean, Dynamax Mon of Choice is probably going to be this Rotom. Hey, double, I'm going to double down on this slot. I'm going to double down on this slot. Let's see what happens. I'm going to Dynamax here. I have the speed advantage, obviously. But I'm doubling down just in case a Geyser does not KO in this drought. But I don't think he goes for a Protect. I really don't think he goes for a Protect. I really do not think that. Wait, oh, come on. Come on. I want this win now. I want this win after that Sap Sipper read. I want it so bad. See what he does. No way you protect him, my dude. See Dynamax in as well? We are gonna see probably a Dynamax Rotom. It's gotta be that Rotom, right? It's gotta be the Rotom. Yeah. This is a Rotom. And we're probably gonna go water for water. He's probably gonna I maybe I should have protected. Maybe I should have protected here. We'll see, we'll see. I think my Kudra can definitely eat up a geyser in the oh but in the rain. That's a little that's a little tough. Here goes my geyser. Can we take out one shot? I'm hoping we can so the sledge bomb can slide over. Let's see what happens. Nope. No, we do not. Good thing I went for the sludge bomb. Good thing I went for the sludge bomb. Hopefully this Rotom does not take me out. I wish that Rotom did go for a max guard. Like, I think something, but nah. He goes in with, what would he just pop off? He switched out with the eject button. That's actually a little, that's decent for us. That's decent for us, because none of his Pokemon are thriving in the heat. None of his Pokemon are really thriving in the heat. And then it's indeed he's going to have to take up on the sludge bomb here. We can potentially see a follow me after this. Let's see what happens here. Do I go first? I do. I do outspeed his Rotom. Here we go. Sludge Bomb. Boop. Do a little bit of damage. Give me poison. No poison. Darkness is going to fly through over on my Rotom, I hope. Nope. Oh, my Gudra. Gudra eats up pretty well, dude. Gudra is a bulky little Pokemon. But I know we got the speed advantage. I know we got the speed advantage. He's going to drop our special defense, which is, uh, that's rather tough for us. That's rather tough. Um, I'm going to definitely go into another Geyser. Hmm. Actually, do I not go into a Geyser? Do I just Darkness here? And lower his special defense. Yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go this slot with it. Then I'm gonna just go into. Do I Draco Meteor? Oh, <laughs> I'm thinking of it. I'm thinking of doing it. I'm going for it. I'm going for it. I'm gonna lower his special defense with the max darkness. Helping hand comes out here. I'm totally cool with it. I'm totally cool with it. We should both go first. We should outspeed it. Max darkness should be able to take this out with the life orb shot, right? 
Yep, Max Darkness takes it out, lowers his special defense, and a big old Draco Meteor is coming out here. And a big old Draco Meteor is coming out here to do as much damage as we possibly can. But he's trying to take out my Gujar here, but that's fine. That's why I went for this Draco Meteor to get this out of the way. And boom, look at that damage, yo. Look at that big old damage there. Dropping all that before we roll out. And he's going to go for a Darkness over on him as well. That's fine. He can say bye to Gudra. Gudra's gone. Um, do we see Max Guard rolling out here? That's the real question. I feel like we see a Max Guard. I know I have Speed Avenge. Our special defense is dumpster. It is dumpster. Yes, Torkoal to do that. Mm. And I still know all I have is Life Orb. I was going to say, I have a Citrus Berry. Is this match? Um. Hmm. Does he guard? Does he guard? I have the speed advantage. Like I said, I have the speed advantage. Who do I go after here? I feel like we can eat up from his Torkoal all day, but I, I feel like he's going to guard. I honestly feel like he's going to guard. Oh my lord. It, like, this comes down to the wire here. Like, if I don't... I think I got to put the pressure over on that, uh... I feel like I got to put the pressure over on that, uh... This Rotom. I got to Because I can eat up a shot from the Torkoal all day. He does guard. Man, man, I was... No! Man, Max Lightning comes out. He guards it. But I feel like I can eat up shots from Torkoal all day. So, that's what I'm going to do. He yawned. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, okay. Slow your roll here, Jeans. Slow your roll here, kid. Okay, he yawned. Are you kidding me? This thing had yawn? Oh my god, I should have just went after the Torkoal. But we're gonna have to take this thing out with a uh, with a T bolt. I'm gonna take this thing out with a T bolt. Like like I said, like I don't think this Rotom can or not. We have to take out this Rotom. Man. I don't think this Torkoal can do too too much. Do we take out? Okay, we take out here. We just have to wait out this sleep now. Oh my lord, what's this thing going for? Heat wave trying to get a burn maybe. The heat wave comes out here. This is scary. Okay, we yeah we lost this game. Man, that thing did a heap in the mouth. We went to sleep. <laughs> no. Bruh. Oh, it came down to the read. I knew, bruh. I knew it. Um, we gotta try it for a protect or something. Are you kidding me? Wake up, Rotom. No, no, miss your attack, please, miss. No, yo, GG to this guy. GG to this guy. Man, all we had to do was go after that Torkoal. See, like I thought that I thought that was coming, the Max Guard. But then it was just like at the same time, I didn't think that uh, that Torkoal posed a threat. But he had yawn to get himself that win. Your boy's mad. Your boy is so mad at that play. Usually I read the max guards, but that time I tried doing something else and I made the wrong call. But we played that one really, really well, actually. I thought we played very, very well up until that last move. We made the wrong call and we ended up losing the match. But potential belly jump Snorlax here. Um, This thing has G-Max Snooze, doesn't it? I'm actually going to go in DD. SQ, set up the safeguard. Nine tails. And then in the back end, do I go... Who's my back end Pokemon? Cause I'm gonna try to set up this belly jump. Back end Pokemon, it's gotta be maybe that Gudra. Maybe that Gudra, to be honest with you guys. He has so much coverage with the poison and all that. Where do I go, Life Orb Rotom? I think like Life Orb Rotom could be pretty strong as well. Let's do it. Let's go Life Orb Rotom, to be honest with you guys. How much I want that Gudra though. No, it's fine. It's fine. This is what this is my plan. This is my plan. Potential go for a follow me. And then I could uh, swap in, bring the hail, set up a roar bell, all that good stuff. But I know we'll outspeed that Snorlax once we get that belly drum. Or I can set the uh, hail myself. There's a lot of physical attackers. That's the thing. That's the thing. A lot of physical attackers. Let's get it. Let's get it. Need that in DD. Set up the safeguard. That is why I kind of went into in DD. In case he goes Dragapult here. This is what. Oh, uh, not Dragapult. In case he goes, what's it called? Grim Snarl. Because I, I feel like this might be a G Max Grim Snarl team. I'm going to go with these two. I'm going to set up that B drum. That B drum. Look at SQ, dude. Look at SQ. Psychic Surge popping out here. Yes, sir. And I'm set up that safeguard. Turn one. Hands down, set up that safeguard. I'm going to get Garden up on that safe. And then, and then, and only then, I'm going to go into a nice little belly drum. Or I could just go for an Iso Crash. I'm going for a belly drum. I feel like he might swap that pole. I feel like I'm such a big threat. Do you want, fool? You want to play with me? Then I can eventually heal Pulse and run out here. But I don't think that pole special attacking. Yeah, he's thinking now. He's thinking, is this is this little penguin with a cube on his head just going to drop me down? I might. I might do it, dude. Because <laughs> SQ's pretty fast as well. 
stay fast. He's a glass cannon, so you gotta rely on his ice head. But this is why I gotta set up this safeguard just in case. Just in case this is a G Max Grimmsnarl. Oh, it doesn't do a double yawn on me. Like that, that's the play. That's the play call. But what you want, fool? You really wanna mess with me? Me and my boy SQ? Here comes the Dynamax. Is it gotta be the Snarl Barrel? Unless it's a special attacking Pulse Heat. Which could just ruin my day. <laughs> is it the Grim Snarl? Nope, it's a Pulse Heat. This is the Pulse Heat. I don't want to get this hail involved as well. I can just go for a follow me this turn. And then drop the ice on myself after I get spell jump up. Swagger's gonna come out here. Oh, he's swaggering him. Jeez, boosting his attacking, but confusing him, right? Yeah. Oh, he's ha he has to have a berry on him, right? Yeah, okay, here comes the berry. He's physical attack, so he's just gonna have to hit off my ice end, right? Steel spike coming through here. Oh, my Ndidi? Oh, my SQ, that's fine. Ice head, baby. Ice head. Ice head, yeah, 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 yeah. Ice head, ice head, yeah, 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 yeah. Ice head, oh, or ice face. <laughs> no. All right, now we're gonna drop the ice on our own. I'm gonna set up the safeguard just in case yawns and stuff come out here. Here go my belly drum. Die. We belly drumming, baby. I'm gonna half health. Give me my citrus berry though. <laughs> Give me my citrus berry. We healing up. Set up the safeguard. Um, no need to heal pulse because he's gonna take me out here. Right call would be go into um, follow me, and then drop the big old max hailstorm onto the dragon pole. Onto the pulse key. Hey, 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 and then and then and only then after I get that out. Actually, we won't even need a low nine tails. We can save a low nine tails in case I wanna uh, put up a roar veil later. I'm gonna use follow me till I don't have to do it anymore. Until I don't have to do it anymore. But his best bet for winning this match. His best bet for winning this match. Would probably be. To go into what's it called. A max guard. Or maybe like a mouth fight. If you have it. If you have it. I don't know what this group Snarl is rocking out with. Maybe screens or something. I'm not too sure. But I'm trying to regenerate my ice face here. Here's my follow me. What's that Grimmy pool? That, that's what scared me. I, I'm fine with that Dragon Pool. Because Dragon Pool's gonna die here. But follow me's coming out here. He's gonna set up a reflect. But uh yeah, you're not doing this. It's not it's not working with you. It's not, it's not gonna do nothing for you. Here goes the worm win. It's gonna drop my attack to plus five, dude. To plus five. Indeed he's gone. That's totally fine. I'm gonna get the roar veil set up after this. Roar veil. Roar veil. And I'm gonna set the hail on my own. I'm gonna set the hail on my own with this thing and take out this Polski in one shot. Let me say bye bye to the Polski. Gone, dumping on him. Boop, even with that reflect. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. I get my ice face back. I get my ice face back. And we're setting up pretty nicely. We got a crit too. Even though we were dumping on it regardless. And I'm gonna come in here and set up that Aurora Bell. Ice face comes back. Thank you very much. Look at that. Freezing over, yo. Freezing over. We got the safeguard up just in case all that uh the stuff that he wants to play. I'm not dealing with it. Like I said, just in case he has like yawn and all that. Because Yawn screwed us over last time. <laughs> it was just like, bruh. Hey, you get buffeted by the hell. Now I'm gonna bring out my girlfriend over here, Nine Tails. <laughs> With that Focus Sash, I'm gonna try to set up a Roar Veil and dump on whatever Pokemon I want. Uh, probably on his Tokus. And I'm gonna just drop Ice again. No need for me to not do Ice. So a Roar Veil, just so we can survive more shots. Get it. And then I'm gonna roll into a Hailstorm. What you want, fool? What you want? <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't have Dynamax either. We're sitting really, really well. Really, really well. This S cube's looking fire. He's looking so good. But my best play was to actually uh, lead these two. It was just so smart to not go into the follow me. Take the hit. Like, I knew I could take a hit and set up a safe card just in case. But we're rolling out here. My my nine tails does outspeed. S cube's chilling. Plus five, dude. A big old penguin. Does he outspeed as well? He does. We can say bye-bye to the what's it called? The toe kiss, it's gone. Get it out of here. Get good, kid. You trash. <laughs> oh my lord, yo. SQ, dude. He's probably the best belly drum user. With Ice Face, Foul Play comes through. Ice Face eats up. And then it regenerates next turn. Wait in the hell? Bruh, yo, this is GG. This is GG. This is OP. This is OP, yo. Look at this. He's like, I'm gonna Foul Play. You knock it off. And well, unless they change it. Did they change it? Or do I get Ice Face again? No, no, I have to. I think I get Ice Face again. I think I constantly get it unless you change weather. No, they changed it up? It used to be a constant. Wow, it used to be a constant. That's that's a little weird. 
Hmm. Okay, that's fine. That, that is just a little weird. But I still feel like I should I should be able to take out uh Alvador here. That's still OP, dude. That's still OP. You can only get one ice face now. Okay. I mean, maybe you have to wait for the next turn? Because I remember back in, like, Season 1. Let me know if you guys know in the comment section down below. I remember back in Season 1 that, like, it just constantly regenerated. But still, it's still OP. It is just still so OP. Free shots can come out here. Dude, this game's wrapped up. This game's wrapped up. I still have my Rotom in the back. Foul play. That actually might take us out. We survive on 8. I am a god. I am a god. But let me see. I don't, I don't get ice face anymore, do I? Unless I have to wait an extra turn. Is that how it works? Is that how it works? And why are we lagging? Did this dude quit? Did this dude turn off his console? He turned off his console, bro. <laughs> Yo, dude. Yo, this kid's trash. This kid's trash. He turns off his console. That's hilarious. Let's hop into battle number three now and try to get a winning record. Going into our third and final battle for this video, guys, let me know for question of the day. Who's your favorite belly drum user? Mine is now SQ. I absolutely love it with that ice face. Like, that is just OP. Are you serious? That was insane, that last battle. We absolutely just dominated that fool and made him actually rage quit, which is pretty funny. But this guy is Mimikyu. He has a lot of physical attackers here. He has Pinchurchin with that lightning rod, so I gotta watch out for that. Um, hopefully that Dragapult is physical attacking as well. I feel like I can just safely lead the Alolan Ninetales. I'm gonna SQ, right? A little nine tail, let's go SQ. Um, let's go on my sword stance up to be honest, which is uh, kind of scary. Kind of scary. So I'm gonna go bump, bump, bump nine tails into SQ. Like, that's just such a safe lead. And then I really don't want that Rotom in here. I really do not want that Rotom. I think I'm gonna go Gudra as a back end mod. Um, and then if we cannot set up, what's it called? If we cannot set up shop with a. Uh, SQ, then we can roll out with Gudra in the back. And I'm going to bring Corviknight as the final spot without the NDD because I feel like it's still viable with that bulk up and all that. I still feel like it works pretty, pretty well. But for this team, I think I wouldn't have gave it its Psychic Seed. I feel like it would have been 10 times better with like a Citrus Berry or an Aquat Berry. Something along those lines. Maybe Leftovers as well. Just something to kind of keep it alive a little bit longer because it is a very bulky Pokemon. But who's he going to go out into? He's going to go out into Pinchurchin and Meowson. However, however you say that thingy. But I'm going to definitely set up that... Do I go Protect turn 1? And set up the Aurora Veil? Electric Surge comes out here. Um, I think I'm going to go Protect turn 1. Now I can try to set up this Belly Drum and just go Aurora Veil. This thing pops its little seeds. It's Electric Seeds and boosts its uh, its defense. Um, let me see something real quick. Let me see something real quick. I want to see something real quick. I'm going to go into this info and see just something about this Electric Surge. So, blah, 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 Electric Range for 500 to power. Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, Pokemon on the ground won't fall asleep. Okay, cool. Um, I think Aurora Barrel is definitely a safe call. And, like, do I go Belly Jump here? Like, the church in special attacking. Gotta remember that. So, I mean, if I set up this Belly Drum and just protect. Not Belly Drum. If I set up this Aurora Barrel and just protect, we kind of see what happens here. I, I, I feel like he's trying to uh, work around this belly jump so i feel like i can set up this war belt and get a free protecting and kind of just like make him focus on my sq as it poses such a big threat so we're gonna see we're gonna see what he does i'm gonna drop this protect is he gonna dynamax he is going to dynamax this protect's gonna help us out a good bit definitely a good bit I'm gonna dynamax pinchurchin if i had to guess pinchurchin so right now i'm just playing the uh the slow card like i'm not wasting my turns trying to belly jump do all this other thing. like because like i said i think guja in the back I have that Gujra in the back. I can set up this Roar Bell and kind of just roll off from here. I don't have to Dynamax this, uh, this, uh, this SQ. I do not have to. See, he's going after my SQ. Like, this is why I went for the Protect. I knew he was going to outspeed. I knew all this was going to happen. I felt like Belly Jump would, would have just been a waste of a turn. And now it gets a War Bell set up. Beautiful. He's setting up Purdy here. I mean, if you want to go for my What's It Called, that's fine. My Nine Tails. But you got to be going for my SQ, right? I should be able to eat this up. Look at that. Look at that. Yes, sir. Not going for that Belly Jump. Smart call by me. And we lose some of our HP. And they can pop it in hell, both of them. Which is wonderful. Which is wonderful. This thing's life orb. That thing's a life orb. Wow. Okay, so we got a life orb boy right there. Um, I'm just going to go for a freeze dry on you. And you can take out my SQ all day. Just drop an icicle crash as well. Just drop an icicle crash as well. We're, we're doubling up here. We got that Aurora Bell. I'm, I'll just save for my Gudra. I'll just save the Dynamax for my Gudra and have that bulky little Corviknight in the back. We'll just start wasting this Dynamax turns. You can take out my SQ now. You can take out my SQ now. It was nice. It was nice knowing you. Thunder Wave's gonna come out here on my Alolan Ninetales. That was a smart play. And he's gonna take out my what's it called here. He's going to take out my SQ, but my SQ should be able to outspeed. Get a shot off. Ice crash comes through. Do a little bit of damage onto it. A little bit. 
of course I'm paralyzed and I can't move. Like, that is the wackest thing I ever saw. And Max Lightning's gonna fly through and take out Eski. Okay. That's fine. That is fine. That's fine. He's gonna start uh, Thunder Waving Control here. Mm, mm, mm. It's tough. Okay, so. Hmm. I Guja into Dynamax here with the Roar Bell set up. And I can. Yeah, 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 yeah. We Dynamax him. We coming up. We coming after you, boy. Let's get it. Guja flies through. And um, what should I go for here? I'm gonna just protect. But at the same time, I want to go for this free try. But I'm definitely Dynamaxing. And do I set the flare? Do I go for the ooze? I'm going for the ooze for a special attack boost. Right into. Oh, that's me, Alstick. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. What you want, fool? We're going for that ooze. We're going for that ooze. Big, bulky Gudra in the Aurora Rail. In the Aurora Rail. Okay. I don't like I said like my original plan was trying to set up the belly jump but after like analyze the situation I was just like I'm just gonna use this uh this what's it called as like a waste this SQ as a waste of turn so I wasted two turns out of his Dynamax which is huge I can start rolling I can start boosting my own special attack these moves and Thunder Wave obviously coming out which is so annoying which is so annoying this guy's just paralyzed and controlling me and watch we're gonna be able to not move what you mean yo what do you Guys, that's going to be it for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy the content. What is this game, though? You guys hear my controller vibrating. But, like, dude. Like, are you kidding me? Like, does Electric Terrain boost that? That's three paralyzes turns lost and paralyzed in a row. In a row. Like, bruh, what you mean? Oh, my lord. Three in a row? Three in a match is, is absurd, but like, three in a row is even more absurd. Now, you know what? I should be able to just take him out here with my max ooze. Like, oh my lord, oh my lord. Let's see what happens here. If I'm, if I'm paralyzed again, this is going to go down into like the most unlucky match you have ever seen. Let's see it. Is there like something about the electric train that helps it out? That gives it a higher chance? Because then I'll be like, okay, I understand. But, like, bruh. Like, I don't think there is anything like that. This is just whack. I'm just getting dookied on for these paralyzers. Ally switch comes through. I'm totally cool with that ally switch. That's really not a big deal for me. As long as I don't miss attacks. We land one! We land one! <laughs> free strike. Can free strike take out Pinchurchin? I don't think so. Does not. Bro, what you mean?! Oh my lord, this game is so trash. This game is so trash, dude. Are you kidding me? Bro, this is why I can't deal with this game sometimes. Like, it's just doing me dirty, man. Oh my lord, Corvo, get out of here. Get out of here. Like, dude, come on. Come on. Like, bruh. Bruh, 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 bruh. Um, Iron Head? I mean, he's gonna go down to the, uh, to the Buffet. So I'm gonna double into you. Can I maybe? Just maybe. I'm thinking maybe. Can I get off this Max Ooze? Like, I'm, I'm thinking maybe. He's gonna paralyze me. I'm probably gonna miss another turn. Oh my lord. Have you guys ever seen something so bad? Thunder Wave, obviously. Like, I would get like one turn, but like we're up to four now. Up to four now. Thank you, Gudra! Gudra did it! <laughs> Gudra did it! <laughs> like, now, Corvonite, can you land your attack? If Corvonite can land his attack, we could be chilling pretty well. Oh my god, that's five! That is five! I don't know what to do! That's five, yo! Are you kidding me? Are you serious? Five? Guys, this just shows. This is the mo this is the worst luck I had. I had my Aurora Bell set up too. We were sitting fine. We were doing great. We were sitting pretty. We had big old Gucci chilling here. Loses two turns? Like, loses two turns? That picture just should have been gone a while ago. Then I went out of low in nine tails to be able to tee off on this thing. But now, now we're now we're just in the dumps here. Unless I somehow pull this one out my buns and and do them dirty. 
But I, I don't even know what I want to do. I guess, I'll, I guess I'll go for this. He's just going to outspeed me and dump on me. Game GG. He's going to drop a Draco Meteor. Help a hand into Draco Meteor. Unless he misses. Unless he misses. <laughs> but he has Dragon Bolt. But this dude doesn't miss. This dude has the best luck in the world. That's going to be game. Gudra eats. Gudra eats. Watch. I'm paralyzed. If I'm paralyzed, it's over. We're done. We're never playing this game again. That's it. Thank you, Gudra. She did it. <laughs> but still, it was about, yeah, like I said, this match is over. Bolt's gone, though. Unless both these guys miss. Like, it's his turn for the bad luck. It's his turn for the bad luck. Our special attack, gone. It's out of here. Gone. And that's going to be it for the video. I should have ended it after the first paralyzed, guys. <laughs> Once I, what, what was it? It was like the third paralyzed. It's like, yeah, that's it for the video. We're done. <laughs> But not gonna lie, we played match one really, really well. Made some good reads, just misplayed on that last turn. We should've just hit the Torkoal. Second match, we absolutely dominated. This one, we played really well with terrible luck. With absolutely terrible luck. Like, dude, look at this. It comes down to this. I would've won this game so easily. Give me, give me, um, two paralyzed. Say, say he was paralyzed twice. I'm Sap Zipper, hold the phone. Hold the phone. Let's take out, hold the phone. I'm Sap Zipper. Does the guy know? He does know. <laughs> he does know. Okay, GG this guy. <laughs> GG. But yo, I would have won. I would have won hands down. Like, look, look at that. That's how close it was when I lost five turns. I lost five turns, and that's how close that was. But yo, GG to that guy. Still, I, I have every right to complain. <laughs> Besides getting paralyzed like 8,000 times, I really did enjoy this team. I'm glad I got to show off SQ to its fullest potential in that second battle and show off what it is capable of just dominating out in these battles. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.